Alright guys, now I'm using Craptacular. We're gonna go and we're gonna lose on a ranked game. Good luck, have fun. Let's see here. We started with no creatures! I have so many creatures in there. How did I not start with one? They're half of my deck. Uh, not, not a good thing for me. Um, I really want to try to hang on to that shrine. And the stone packed memorial. And the ranger's band. I guess I'll get rid of the binding root for now. Keep the dryadic power. Uh, oh, it's my turn. Oh, wow, you can discard any card for any energy or any any resource? I did not know that at all. Holy crap. Um, wow, that totally throws out how I was going to play this game. Oh, wow, I've suddenly realized I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, okay. Well, uh, she doesn't have anything out yet, so we'll go ahead and we'll discard that for some growth. And then we'll toss this down and get some order. Oh my god, I'm gonna fail. Oh my god, guys, I should have read about this. Oh no. Oh no. Kook is going to beat the crap out of me. Where are my creatures? Oh my god. Screw it. Let's let's discard for cards because I'm not getting anything. Okay, we got a Vader. That's something. It's something. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll see what happens. Oh, my God. I didn't know you could discard for any kind of mana or whatever you want. Oh, shit. Well, suck, Nuggets. I'm really going to have to go back to the drawing board. I apologize to anyone who's watching these videos because this is probably not going to help you. Unless you were thinking about doing it and you were like, well, how do I not make horrible mistakes? I will show you how to not make horrible mistakes. Okay, we got another Vader of the Wild. We can't use Rallying for a long time because we don't have any creatures at all. I don't want this creature to survive, so we're going to move down. We are going to get rid of this for some order and then we're going to toss in vader of the wild and then we're going to go from there so hopefully uh she doesn't throw down a wall because if she doesn't i'm going to be stupid i'm going to drop my vader down i'm going to double dryadic power him and i'm going to kill this creature oh suck my butt okay so this is uh this is a bit of an issue that i didn't expect to come across so we could move this Vader down, this Vader up. This guy's going to attack next turn. I don't know what I want to do. Um, we could get rid of this for order and then drop the Shrine. And then still drop the Kinfolk Brave. Uh, and then we give everything an extra health, which would allow it to survive his next attack. And then... From there, then we could have the Kinfolk Brave, and then we could drop Dryadic Power on just whatever we needed to, I guess. Suck. Um. Screw it. Let's try it. Let's just let's just try it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're gonna take this. We are going to uh, we're gonna get rid of this for order. We're going to drop a shrine. We're going to drop a shrine way back here. And then we're going to drop a Kenfolk Brave in front of it. Let's be annoying. Let's, let's, I don't want to split my forces. It's actually really bad for me to be doing this. But uh, that the spiky is actually going to cause me a lot of issues. Uh, but at least he's not going to be able to kill any of my stuff this turn. So that'll uh, hopefully... Oh, no. Well, never mind. He's going to kill everything I have this turn. Uh, and then he's going to cripple my resources. Not not what I wanted. Wow, if I could get him down here, I could kill this guy off in one hit. Hmm. It'd give me quite a foothold in the middle. It'd give me quite a foothold in the middle. All right, screw it. We're going to move... Uh, oh, I can't I can't leave this row. Shit. 
Okay, screw it. Let's discard this for cards. Crimson Bull, Brother of the Wolf. Not anything that I need right now. We're just going to take... Uh, we're just going to let it happen. We're just going to let this turn happen, and then we'll decide what to do next turn. Oh, wow. I have just royally screwed myself. This game cannot go my way. I can't see how I can possibly win this. Okay, so he's going to continue to move up, which is actually going to give me a chance to kill his spiky unit at some pretty substantial cost. And then he's going to drop the Night Scholar, which is unfortunate. Okay, so we're going to have to, uh... Ah, but... We have to get more, more growth. We are just way too behind on growth. Which is going to leave me with nothing to defend this row. So even if I move an attack, and I kill this, then he's going to move up and destroy this, and then reduce my, my only buffing thing. Um, suck. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's just drop this on him. Make him a three five, and then we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to hit. And then if he moves up to attack, then he moves up to attack. It is what it is. Oh man, Whew. guys, I am sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's no talent gaming for a reason. Let's learn to fail together. That's what everybody wants. They want the failure. Alright, so he's deciding whether to move up and kill me or not. Does he have a card to make it happen is my question. Oh, what a dick move. That's unfortunate. It's going to take my unit down to a 3-3. Three, three. I can kill off his spiky dude, but not much else. And I can run, but he's still going to be able to move and kill me no matter where I go. Let's... Shit. Serious butts, guys. I mean, this is, this is butts day extraordinaire. Um Okay, we're we're going to we're going to go crazy on this one. Hold on. I'm going to drop the Vader there. We're going to cast this. We're going to kill this. Then he's not only going to be able to attack with one guy who's going to kill my Vader and leave my my unit to attack. This is what I'm banking on. Cuz one more attack, I can kill off one more of his units. And keep the game a little bit closer than it was previously. And next turn I can at least play Brother of the Wolf and then draw a couple extra cards. Oh man. I am not in a good position. I am as far from a good position. You dick! No! But. Okay. But. All right, let's let's just get some more growth. Okay, so we're going to not just continue to throw away units into the top lane. We're going to go back and try to take over the middle. And we'll get the Sinmark Zealot down. The Sinmark Zealot is a super annoying creature. At least I can do some damage with him. Unless, of course, he has Kabonk, which, of course, he'll just kill the Zealot. So he's really desperately trying to keep... Uh, keep my units uh, from actually getting a foothold on this board. Oh, suck. Could have really used that, actually. Royal Spearman might be super nice for me right now. Uh, if he does attack it, he at least will have to take damage for it. Yeah, let's go ahead and toss down the Royal Spearman right up there in front. We'll keep the spiky guy out in the lead. I actually may have, should have probably moved the wolf up, but the reason I didn't do that is because when he attacks next turn, I don't want him to be able to buff and kill my wolf. Uh, I want my wolf guy to be able to attack. Because uh, he'll be able to kill something at least. So let's see. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. 
Well, I'm at least getting to the point where with one more growth, I can play anything in my decks. But uh, it's not it's not looking as good as I would like it to. Okay, so he dropped another spiky two up front, which I can kill. Um, and then I can kill his relentless unit and then leave just this guy. Okay, uh, let's, that's what we're going to, we're going to do everything in our power to pull this game back. We're going to pull it back. We're going to take it from the pit of suck that it's in and we will raise it up. Hmm. Oh, this spiky dick. At least he'll live, though. He'll kill him and live, and then he'll kill him and live. And then I won't have another chance to attack before he attacks again. But that's okay. Unless I get Rally, which I still couldn't play because I don't have enough cards to play it. Or enough growth. But... I almost thought this was my turn. This person is taking their sweet ass time. Uh, granted, I do that too. So can't really say much. At least he will take two damage. You dickless piece of poop. Okay, actually, you know what? This works out. I'm fine with this. I'm totally fine with this. Okay, so I really want to keep that Ranger's Bane. Everything inside of me is telling me to keep it. But we're gonna. It's it's. It would be unwise to not draw extra cards. Okay, so we're going to have to kill off these creatures. Okay, we're going to get my spiky guy moving back up here. Uh, we need to keep him front and center. Now, we're going to Crimson Bull. We're going to kill... Actually, hold on a second. Oh, I could be totally annoying. Okay, hold on. I'm going to summon a wolf, which is going to have haste. It's going to be one, two, and then I can buff it by two... And then two more, taking it up to a 5-2. He'll kill him. They'll both die. And then he'll kill him. And I'll still have my dude here. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be way more annoying. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Yeah. All right. Let's cast uh, Crimson Bull. Champion Ring. Do it to it, guys. Do it to it. Yeah. All right. Oh, my God. I have more creatures on the field. This is awesome. What is going on? <laughs> oh, my God. If I could rally next turn and do some serious damage. Don't play something with spiky. Don't play something with spiky. I could rally and I couldn't kill him, though. So if he plays anything in front of this, I'm not going to be able to kill him. It would actually take every single damage point I had to kill this guy. So uh, maybe I'm lucky and he doesn't have anything to play. Which is unlikely with five cards in his hand. Still sacrificing for resources, which I'm actually so far... Oh, you dick. Dick butts. Well, I am going to lose this guy anyway, but that's okay. It's He was going to die either way, and this way he's going to take a hit and my zealot's going to live. So I'm fine with that. Okay. Now, if we don't have a way to f stay in the middle, I'm going to have to abandon it. Although we do. I could drop another Royal Spearman. Um, I really should discard for resources. I could drop another Royal Spearman. And whoever gets through here is going to have to take some serious damage uh, to do it. And plus, we're going to be attacking. I really don't want to get rid of that rallying, but I might need to to get more creatures out on the field. I really should I really should abandon the middle. Uh, just for anyone who's watching, I probably should abandon the middle and keep this rallying. Maybe I should just keep the rallying. He'll attack this turn, and then I can just rally and have them both attack next turn and kill off his general, depending on what he plays. But... Screw it. Let's do it. We'll do it and we'll see what happens. It may not work out. This may backfire miserably. Uh, this may be a really terrible decision. I probably should have gotten extra cards. Royal Vanguard. Okay, we can kill off the Royal Vanguard. I'm fine with that. 
Man, this person's going all out with resources. I really need some more resources. I'm not in a good position. Okay. Another royal spearman? I really love these things, too. Um, but we're going to... We could totally just straight up kill this. Um, and then when he attacks next turn, he will kill my unit, but he'll take two damage for it. And then maybe we can do something from there. Screw it. We're going balls deep. Okay, so he is going to hit and kill my unit. He's going to take two damage for it. Uh, not the best trade in the world. Hmm. I really should not be fighting for this middle row. I'm not in a position to be fighting for this middle row. Zero cards in hand. I have eight combined resources between my two things. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Um, crown of strength, but... It's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, butts. Butts, 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 butts. You know what would be really awesome right now is a uh, dryadic power or two dryadic powers. That would be superb. I could make the tankiest annoying unit ever. Okay. Discard for cards. Mangy Wolf and Brother of the Wolf. Not what I wanted. It's really not. I really need to abandon this lane. I just don't think I can stand up to this. I mean, I can try to move forward, drop Brother of the Wolf, uh, and then just pray for a rally. Which even then would barely put a nick in this guy. Because I'm going to lose this guy next turn, no matter what. But. Alright. Crap. Let's abandon the lane. We're going to drop Brother of the Wolf in the turn. Oh, wow. Think, well, no, it didn't matter. I moved because he can move after me. I forgot that when that guy's countdown ends, he gets all the countdowns reduced. Oh, God, this game is so over. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. I just don't have anything that can take care of this. My whole deck is about getting early board control, and I failed. Oh, how I failed. Yeah, this game's over. This game's, this game's, this game's pretty over. We'll see what we draw next turn, but it can't be anything that's going to cause me to win the game. Oh, butts. Uh, screw it. Let's just get some other stuff. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and kill off the sin marked zealot. We'll also drop the Royal Infantry Men and screw it, let's just drop the Mangy Wolf. Oh, I'm really trying to think of how I could possibly get out of this. I gotta, I gotta be honest, if I was not recording, I would probably just give up. Because there's, there's no way in hell I can defeat this army right here with the way my deck is made. Uh, early board control is what I needed and I, I failed so bad. I just do not have any words for how badly I failed. Even if he moves up next turn and I could attack them full on, I could only do enough damage to not even kill anything, actually. I couldn't kill anything at all. I'm just trying to think what I could possibly get. I'd love to play my Kinfolk Brave, but I need more cards. Yay, Stone Packed Memorial, guys. That's, that's going to win me the game right there. That's what it's going to do. Okay. But... Uh, whatever. Let's just, let's just drop it. It doesn't matter. One damage. 
I will whittle you down into nothingness. Oh, God, look at all that attack damage. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. Oh, that was pretty brutal. At least it's not on everybody. It's only on two people who are attacking, but good lord. When his countdown reaches zero, and then his countdown reaches zero because of it, uh, they're going to get pretty, pretty, pretty strong. They're going to be in a good position. Good position for the victory. I don't, I don't see how this turn requires as much thought as they're giving it. I don't know if she's like, well, I'll, must have something up his sleeve. Uh, but I literally have no cards at all. <laughs> and I don't really have anything more powerful than this. Okay, so um, we might need more enchantments in the deck. But we need more creatures. Maybe less spells? Oh, I'm really going to have to go to the drawing board on this one. Guys, this is uh, it's going to be a rough one uh, to try to figure out how to make this one work. I'm trying to think of what I could do. The, the lack of creatures just could have been a bad draw. Really could have been. I didn't, I didn't expect that I needed or that I could just discard anything for any kind of resource. If I would have known that, I probably would have gotten rid of a lot of the things that give me resources for creatures. Because then if I needed the resource, I could discard them for that. And if I didn't, then I could just play them. Because I don't really need to rush to high resources, which is what those cards are usually for. I really can take my sweet time uh, getting my resources up. So at the very least, I can kill this dude. Uh, that's about the best I got. Just discard this. Mangy Wolf, Ranger's Bane, blah de blah de blah Nothing that's going to help me uh, not stay, or, you know, stay alive. Let's go ahead and screw it. Let's just move everybody down right into the path of hell. Uh, we're going to take the mangy wolf. And we're going to drop the mangy wolf uh, back here, I guess. And then we're just going to we're gonna let this play out. So yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of a lot of the uh, cards that I have that give me resources of the other colors. Uh, and replace those with creatures. I'm going to do my math to find a good balance. Uh, but I really don't need that good of a balance. I could actually go 50-50 or however I wanted. Because I didn't. I thought you had to get an order card in order to discard for order. So I actually could just put in stuff that I actually think will be super useful for my deck. Uh, and nothing else. So I really got to go back to the drawing board on this one. So I'm thinking maybe... Um, yeah, I th I'm thinking I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like deck this deck out with creatures. Uh, I'm really just gonna play it like my growth deck, except I'm gonna switch out some of the creatures for some stuff with some synergy. Like you know everything in the same row gains buffs. I think I'm gonna lose the spiky units. I like having the spiky, but I honestly put them out just to take damage and die. I do not put them out with an attack in mind, which I think is really playing against what I'm trying to do in the deck. It's it's very defensive unit. Uh, which can be really good, but, uh, I mean, I'm really all aggressive, so I really should avoid that. I might bring back in the, um, my 1-3 Relentless guys, Gravehawks, uh, just because I, or maybe I'll bring in some Relentless Order units, because I need more Relentless. Uh, without Relentless, I'm really not going to get anywhere at all. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. The uh, the final turns are, are coming up here while I'm brainstorming. Let's go ahead and uh, just drop my dude. I didn't even put him behind him. It doesn't even matter at this point. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to get some Relentless guys. I'm still going to try to keep relatively low. Mm. I'm going to try to keep relatively... I'm gonna, Okay, here's what I'm going to do, I think, for next time. I'll build the deck with you guys so you can see what I'm doing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the deck exactly how I have it, except I'm going to mix two colors in, uh, and I'm going to try to 50-50 it, where I'm going to have nothing over five cost in the deck, then, uh, just because that's my basis, I mean, maybe, uh, you know, something like the general here, uh, who is six, yep, 
Uh, when his countdown reaches zero, all units around him reach zero. That really plays into what I'm trying to do with my deck. Uh, so that might be something that I, I want to do. Um, it might be something I want to do. Uh, screw it, we'll just discard this for cards. It doesn't really matter. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, we'll drop Mr. Royal Infantryman. We'll drop my Kinfolk Brave. We can all die together, guys. Uh, we'll take a Dryadic Power and we'll put it up here on my front guy, make him all beefy. All right, screw it. No matter, he's going to die anyway. Um, I'm going to try to go with the same base idea. Nothing over five cost. Uh, I'm going to do my best to split the deck 50-50, and I'm going to try to keep it mostly low-cost units and buffs. Um, I'm going to try to get some extra gold so I can buy some uh, deck packs. Uh, I think I'm going to work on that in my off time, and then I'll buy some deck packs with you guys uh, and just kind of go over them and kind of talk about, uh, you know, general use of the cards and then how I'm going to try to work them into my deck. And then I'm going to... Uh, you know, try to put my deck together and see if I can get it to work how I want it to. But the fact that you can discard a card for any color of resource uh, really changes the way that I'm I'm going to tackle this game in the future. I think it uh, it adds a lot of depth that I didn't realize was actually there. Um, I think he could have won there actually, but he still might. He still might. Nope. Uh, um, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think that'll give me the, uh, the best opportunity to, uh, I think that'll give me the best opportunity to have like a good rough idea of the deck and then build it out from there. Um, I don't think I'm going to like focus on any one side with creatures. I'm really going to go for the same route I went before. I'm going to go for buffs, uh, neutralizing, getting a lot of cards, a lot of low resource things, get my fertile soil. Uh, maybe I'll get another one, which would be great. Let's see here. Let's just drop. Uh, let's just drop everything we got. Drop my zealot. Drop my great wolf. Drop my royal infantryman. See, I mean, this isn't a bad deck once you get it going, but everything's so low cost that it's not going to do dick for anybody. Um, I'm not. The, by the way, that is not the order in which you should place units, but it doesn't really matter. Um. But yeah, I think I think that'll work out. And then um, I mean that will force me to go towards you know ten resources. Um, it kind of takes away the speediness of my deck though. Maybe I'll try two decks. Maybe I'll try one with nothing over three cost, which would be ridiculous. Um, and then we'll try one that's uh, the five and five, which which I really like. Uh, that does that does work very, very well. Uh, so, anyway, uh, thank you all very, very much for joining me. I apologize, uh, you know, if you tuned out earlier, I don't blame you. Uh, I kind of was just sitting there losing and just mumbling on. Uh, for anyone who stayed, thank you very, very much. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it, and I will see everyone next time.